super excited for, you know, just to like go out and eat some food. Yeah, <laughs> we got I Jabe. Wait. Jabe right here. And I'm not sure about the Samus player. Oh, Gotti, right. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is going to be an interesting one because we have two. You usually don't, most, pretty much the current meta in terms of like top tiers. Uh -huh. There's not a lot of like projectile characters up there. Yeah. So we're going to see two projectile characters go at it. Um, Olimar and Samus. It, it's going to be pretty hard for Samus, in my opinion, because the Pikmin can body oh. block the projectile. Yes, exactly. And I'm not sure like many people think about it too much. It's charge shot is less of a factor here. It's still a threat. Yes. But with the ability to like have your Pikmin body block stuff, and you're kind of unsure whether it's going to hit or not, it's kind of like mm, you're kind of really taking a risk when you're throwing out charge shot. Yeah, and the interesting thing about Samus too, she is a projectile character, but uh -huh. she uh, she has a really good dash attack, surprisingly. So she oh, does yeah, she does yeah. have some zone breaking tools, and the dash attack does combo into things like up air and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So um, we can see Gotti go more aggressive here, but we'll we'll see what he takes. Right now, um, Jabe is doing a really good job racking up that damage. Uh huh. Yeah, and what I like about Jabe also. Uh, he's actually one of the players who just does a lot of like just pivot side Bs, just kind of like staying away from the zone up till killing it. What? Yeah, that was like 93. Th was he it sub 80 percent? Oh, he, he got hit up to 93. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and that up tilt is really strong, and it's a really good option to kind of like throw out at the ledge. Yeah, it's yeah. A very, it has a lot of startup, but it's really meaty. Mm -hmm. Just takes up a lot of area. Yeah, and he especially had that with rate. those Pikmin. Man, hit on the other side with down <laughs> smash. Purple Pikmin actually taking that stock 150 percent. Man. Equalizing it right up, and I mean we pretty much got an even game. And wow, the red Pikmin going right through. Guess the air Ooh, dodge. Oh yeah, man! I actually have not seen Jabe kind of go for that. He did go for it early on with the first stock. Yeah, but uh, going for it again, he actually kind of recognizing Gotti's uh, habits. Yeah, for sure. And if he got the spike hitbox, that probably would have been it right there. Yeah, the purple Pikmin are strong. Nice, good up B to get back onto the stage, but not really a good option right there. Jay was definitely ready for something like that. Yeah, the ledge drop double jump fair is a very, really good option, but if you're ready for it, you can definitely punish it. And kind of a similar situation to the first stock. Oh, that's it. Okay, yeah, but Jabe is, <laughs> Jabe is gonna close it out yeah. this time. He's Power not shield gonna, forward smash, man. Yeah. He's not gonna let that rage come back, come into factor. That is one thing that, I mean, these both these characters are projectile characters, but Almar yeah. being way more lighter, yeah. Samus having that really big, heavy suit of armor, mm -hmm. gonna be a lot heavier. And it's gonna be weird to say that like Olimar is a projectile character, considering like how closely he uses his Pikmin, right? Yeah. For his fair, for like everything that he does. The only time it really feels like a projectile is when he's throwing out like the side, side B, beast. right? Yeah. Or a forward smash or down smash. Kind of, it's kind of vague where what, what's gonna happen when he does yeah. that uh, compared to other stuff. But just side B is just so good. <laughs> side B is so good. I mean, and side B doesn't really do too much damage unless you get that white Pikmin going. Uh -huh, yeah, exactly. But other than that, yeah, Olimar just kind of like he can work really well in that mid range area too. You yes, know, you get those grabs, yeah. you get those smash attacks, and mm -hmm. especially in this game, um, he's very grab orientated. Like you, you can yeah. down throw into like Ooh. a lot of combos. Oh, oh my goodness, that's dead. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Gotti was a little bit scared right there. Jay chased really deep. Hit him with that purple or like that white pigment off stage also just to even rack up more damage. Yeah, Gotti Jeez. looking shook off stage. Oh he my goodness. So, oh man. No! Oh, man. Oh, okay. Man. <laughs> that still was so much damage. It's 68 damage. Yeah. Like, it just seems like uh, Jay kind of knows that vortex and Gotti just really is not willing to jump out of it. Yeah, and like best case situation in these lower percents for Olimar is you tackle white Pikmin with the yes. side beat and mm -hmm. then you get a grab. Yeah. So like the whole time you're doing your grab string, the white Pikmin is ticking away and um, the white Pikmin, it, the best situation is if it's latched on with side B, it does the most damage, but uh -huh. it's weaker in all the other areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right now, you can just see Jabe just really holding on to the purple Pikmin right now. And that's what he wants. Oh, oh. gosh, double jab just runs okay. up down here? Okay, Jabe. <laughs> Jabe, I'm going to need you to calm down. <laughs> I've just never seen that man play that aggressive before. Yeah, he, he was getting feisty offstage. <laughs> like, super feisty. <laughs> I think he, he understood. dropped 